Hey people, Demon here, and today I have another question video. <clears throat> so today's question will be, how do you personally want to die? I've heard a lot of people say they want to die peacefully, sleeping in their beds. Or some say they want to die surrounded by friends and family. But there's tons of ways to die, and I'm just wondering, what's your personal opinion? And how do you want to personally die? Perhaps you want it to be an accident where you don't even see it coming. Perhaps you want it to be a superhero moment where you save somebody. Or perhaps something else entirely. I just want to remind you really quick to subscribe, hit that bell to keep up with my content, like, comment, and share this video, Twitter and Instagram, link down below. Back to the video. So, what else is there? Well, as we previously said, random accident, a heroic death, a death where you're just sleeping, a death, peaceful death I should say. A death surrounded by friends and family. Maybe some of you are weird and you want to die um, alone and sad. I don't know. Maybe some of you think that way. I don't know if you do. That's good for you, I guess. Or maybe some of you just want to die alone. I guess you don't have to be sad necessarily. You could just die alone and uh, to your own devices. Kind of like a dying cat would. Uh, run away from its home to die out in the forest so it's not impacting its family or for whatever reason that is. I've, I've heard a lot of people say it's because it impacts the family and it makes them sad but then again it's an animal so it might just be because it might attract it might attract like wild animals to its to its den to its family so that could also be the case. <laughs> But maybe you're like that and you just want to die alone, uh, just peacefully, or maybe not peacefully. Maybe you're someone that wants to die doing what you love, whatever that is. Maybe you're someone that wants to die um, just doing nothing, I don't know. Maybe you're someone that wants to die doing dangerous stuff. Who knows? Who really knows what your thought process is in Seb Jew? So the question is, how do you want to die? And if you had a choice to choose how you want to die, what way would you die and when would you die? Perhaps you're a person that never wants to die and you always want to live forever, which sadly is impossible. I think even if they find the immortality mixture, eventually you probably would die uh, due to something else, not aging, but something else entirely. Uh, but yeah. Eventually, we all gotta die. It's a sad thing to say, but it's true. So the question is, how do you specifically want to die? Now, me, specifically, how do I want to die? Well, I have the perfect thing that will probably never happen because it would probably cost a shit ton of money. And plus, technology isn't that far advanced yet. What I want to do um, when I'm, like, way older... Probably, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s. I don't know how old I'm going to be when I die. I think the average is around 70-ish, right? Uh, but some people can live up to, like, a lot longer. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like, the average is around there. So... My personal opinion is that when I'm starting to die, and the doctors know for 100% sure I am going to die, I don't want them to be a mistake and be like, oh, you're going to die in like a week or two, and then all of a sudden I survive, uh, like many people have done before with chronic illnesses and other such things where doctors have said, you're going to die, but they're kinda, their estimates are a little bit off, and they eventually do die from it, but not at that specific time. Uh, I want them to be exactly accurate and be like, okay, you have about, I don't know, a week or two. 
And then for that week or two, I'm going to spend it, uh, like for the first half, I'm probably going to go do some fun stuff, just, uh, do whatever I can to have fun. And then the second half, I'll probably go spend time with family and, uh, have all the time with my family and just, you know, cry it out and stuff. And then the last half, the last part, the last day, I should say, is where I want them to shoot me into space. Now, I want them to shoot me into space with a capsule-type spaceship that's going to expand with uh, solar panels and solar sails. I'm pretty sure that's a thing I've heard about before where the sun pushes your ship along. So it's going to expand with solar panels and solar shells. And basically, this ship is going to put me to sleep in about an hour or two after I go on to it. So in space, I'm going to have plenty of windows in it, or at least one window that I can look out. So I can look back at the Earth and look at all the surrounding places in space and just look at the awe and wonderness of it and be like, wow, this is amazing. Um, <clears throat> just looking back at Earth and seeing it float away slowly. Well, seeing it slowly drift away as I drift away. You know, it would be completely amazing to see that as I slowly just drift away through space. Um, now, this, the, this capsule is going to have a device that's going to put me to sleep. Uh, after about an hour or two, a little needle is probably going to poke me, or maybe a drug I took beforehand, where I slowly fall asleep into blissfulness, into blissful sleep. And then after I fall asleep, the device is going to activate, and it's going to cryogenically freeze me. Like many of people have done before, on Earth, uh, there is people that have cryogenically frozen themselves when they died to get re resurrected in the future. But I want that to happen in a spaceship as I slowly drift farther and farther away from Earth. Now, why do I want that to happen? Just because <clears throat> I think it'd be a great... I just think it'd be a really peaceful and like amazing and wonderful death just to look back at Earth and to look at everything surrounding it and just be like, wow, that's awesome. But also, I want to be cryogenically frozen because... I want to be put to sleep and cryogenically frozen because I don't want to feel the pain. But I want to be cryogenically frozen because I want somebody in the future, maybe, maybe, this isn't a, this isn't like a guarantee, but maybe to be able to bring me back to life. If all my things are, is if all my like organs and my brain is frozen and stuff, they should be able to bring me back to life generally, right? So... As I'm floating through space, I hope that an alien civilization far, far away from here, probably hundreds, thousands, millions, billions of years in the future, as my little pod keeps on floating out, gathering sunlight to stay afloat, um, hopefully it doesn't run out and it turns off and my body's just a corpse in space. But as I'm drifting away, hopefully an alien civilization finds me and brings me back to life and I get to live a second time where hopefully they have a cure for whatever ailed me unless it's old age and they fix me up and they're like, okay, you're back to your young self and you're back to life, buddy. <laughs> now that would be amazing. Just thousands of years or hundreds or what have you. Just some alien race picks me up and is like, you're back. That would be amazing. Um, or, I wouldn't mind if it was the human race, uh, if we eventually ever do have space travel like that. If a human race finally, eventually finds me and re-brings me back to life and is like, hey dude, it's been like a thousand, two thousand, a hundred years or million years or whatever, and I'll be like, what, really? Like, humans are still alive this long? I thought we were going to die out like a thousand years ago. <laughs> I thought we were going to die out in like in 2050. <laughs> but, whatever. Um, but yeah, that would be really amazing as well. I wouldn't mind aliens or humans. Just as long as they had the technology to bring me back to life and keep me alive. And actually probably make me young again. Because I don't want to be old for the rest of my life. <laughs> Just make me young and let, give me another, I don't know few years maybe a few hundred years of life 
where I'm in the future and it's going to be very awesome. That would be pretty awesome in itself. Um, now, of course, there's other possibilities with this. Uh, there's the possibility that I'm just going to be floating into nothingness for all eternity because no one's ever going to pick me up. There's a possibility that I'll float into like a star or a black hole or something like that or an asteroid will hit me. There's also a possibility that I wouldn't mind happening either uh, where I will land on a planet and I will be the seeds of life on that planet, on said planet. That would be pretty awesome. I, I do think so myself. If I land on a planet that's still in the beginning stages of becoming alive and I land there, I would still die. I'd still die, obviously. My, my pod will break open and probably just be destroyed completely. But as long as my body is there and I go into like the, primor the primordial soup sort of thing and it takes my DNA and it mixes it with all the species there. Uh, and then and then I would literally be the seed of life in a different planet. That would be freaking amazing. If I was the seed of life in a different planet. <laughs> Especially if they found it out in the future. Uh, like when they got more advanced and they found my spaceship. Maybe even found my corpse if it got mummified. Um, and they realized like this guy, this person. Like. Landed on our planet thousands of years ago. Amazing. <laughs> and maybe he was even the seed of life. Who knows? Because maybe I was. That'd be pretty awesome as well. <laughs> I'm just thinking like of all the possibilities there is. And I'd be okay with any of them to be honest. As long as I get to see that view at the very end. And I get to have the peace of mind like. Maybe something good will happen. Or maybe something bad will happen. Maybe something good will happen. Or maybe something else will happen. But it doesn't matter because I'm dead, so it's not like I'll care. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's 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 what I would that's what I would want to do when I die. I want to be shot out in space in a specially made spaceship, um, where they cryogenically freeze me and I slowly drift further and further away from planet Earth, until eventually, hopefully, an alien race or Earthlings themselves find me, revive me. Make me young again, yada yada, as I already explained. Or the next best thing is where I land on a planet, I become like the the seed that seeded that planet and made it into what it is in the future. That'd be pretty cool too. But yeah, that's that's just my thought. That's just my thoughts. <laughs> I know I could never do that because that would be like super amounts, like that'd be super expensive. And plus, technology is nowhere near the point where they can tell when you're gonna die. Or where they can tell for exact sure the day when you're going to die. It's to the point where they can like say like, oh, you have about this long to live. And usually it's pretty accurate, but sometimes it's not, you know. So I need the technology to be a little bit more better. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, I think that would be freaking awesome. But anyways, what is your way that you want to die? Do you want to die as a savior? Maybe you want to save humanity. Or maybe you want to save somebody in general and die from it. Perhaps you want to die being something messed up. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. Best way to get my channel. Link down below to my Twitter. And as always, our friends, stay sane. Peace. My baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at your buddy. Look over here. <laughs>